party people, it's Kristen. Welcome to your vinyasa class. No props necessary for this one. We're just gonna move and breathe, maybe break a little sweat and have a lot of fun. So let's do it. Roll out your mat, meet me in Thunderbolt Pose. If you're feeling a little extra today, maybe you start in Toes Pose, tucking all the toes under, sitting your hips down on your heels, getting that good stretch through the feet. And we'll start by just closing down the eyes, relax your shoulders and just start to gather your breath. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. If you have an ujjayi pranayama in your practice, maybe you start to generate that here, constricting the little muscles at the back of the throat to create that ocean sort of sound. Sometimes you'll hear it referred to as the Darth Vader breath. It's a breath of victory, a breath of fire. It keeps us moving, it keeps us heated, it keeps us present. Take a moment to notice how your body feels today. Are there any areas that you might want to work and wiggle yourself into, work through any tightness or stiffness? Are there any areas that just naturally feel good, right? Accept in the good with the bad, let it all be just as it is. Meet yourself where you are today. Let's take one more breath in here. One more breath out and then meet me in tabletop, coming onto your hands and knees. If you had your toes tucked under, it might feel really good right about now to untuck them and just kind of tap out the tops of the feet on your mat. Spread all your fingers wide, stack your shoulders over your wrists, stack your hips over your knees, start to move your body. Does not matter what it looks like. I just want you to move freely, be curious about what these movements feel like in your body. See if you can keep the breath flowing. Maybe you even find a way to link your breath with your movement, right? So this could be anything, drawing some big circles, kind of getting into the hips and the side body. If you need a little movement for your spine, maybe that's some cat cows. Maybe you try out a little child's pose here. So whatever, is calling your name is perfect. We'll take a few more rounds of breath, just moving. So this practice is all about you. Your time on your mat should serve you physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, energetically. So I always encourage my students to continue to check in and listen to what your body and your mind and your heart are saying to you and then follow that, right? So what I offer is just offerings. Maybe you do everything I say, maybe you leave things out, maybe you add things in. This is your practice, do what you need to do. When you're ready, meet me in Downward Facing Dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, continue to move here. This might look like pedaling out your feet, rocking the hips side to side, Shaking the head, yes and no. Anything at all, maybe you explore plank today. Ha, ah, see how that feels. Are you feeling strong? Are you feeling like you're gonna need to muster some energy for this practice? It's all good, whatever shows up, whatever baggage you brought with you onto your mat today. When you're ready here, let yourself be still. See if you can lengthen from your wrists up to your elbows, from your elbows up to your shoulders. And then as you lift your hips high, lengthen from your shoulders up to your tailbone. As you press your heels down towards the mat, maybe a little bend in the knees, lengthen through the backs of your legs. Take a deep breath in and release. 
on your next inhale, lift your heels nice and high. Start to take your gaze forward as you exhale, bend your knees and step or hop to the top of your yoga mat. Ragdoll pose, let your head hang heavy here. Crown releases towards the mat. Maybe you bind the arms. Maybe you sway side to side. Maybe you play around with shifting your weight in your feet. You can go side to side, front to back. Just rock and roll around until you really find your center point. And you root down right there. If you have a bind, release it. Take a breath in to lift halfway. And then exhale, fold back down. Now this time I want you to interlace your fingers behind your head at the base of your skull. Keep them there, draw the elbows out to the sides, inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, release down. Now this time I want you to interlace your fingers behind your back for a shoulder rinse. Keep the bind, inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold back down. Release the bind, rise all the way up to stand, extended mountain, Root down as you rise up, big reach up. Maybe you look up as your hands connect here and exhale your hands to your heart space. Nice, now inhale, reach back up, big full body stretch. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant your palms, step back into your downward facing dog. And you're welcome to stay right here. If you would like to vinyasa it out, then come with me. Inhale, high plank pose. Exhale, low plank chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Recollect your breath. On your next in breath, send your right leg up to the sky. As you exhale, kicking the plant behind me, as you exhale, bend your knee, open up through the hip. Start to circle out your foot. You can circle out your knee. Find those little itty bitty movements that feel good in your body. And then square the hips back off. Take a breath in to fully extend the right leg. Exhale, knee to nose, shift your shoulders over your wrists. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Pause, fully exhale. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, this time step your foot between your hands. Runner's lunge. As you breathe in here, I want you to sink down into your hips. Lift your heart to deepen that stretch. And as you exhale, lift your hips. Straighten your front leg and bow forward. Inhale, lunge. Sink down through the hips. Lift your heart, lift your gaze. Exhale, hips lift, melt forward. Inhale, lunge. So just a little back and forth action here, moving with your breath. Exhale to lift and fold. Two more times, inhale, lunge. Exhale, lift. Last one, breath in. Breath out. Now listen from here, step the left foot up to meet the right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, root to rise. Come all the way up. Maybe add in a little back bend here. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back, downward facing dog. Hold here or flow with me. Inhale to come forward, high plank. Exhale, low plank. You can always drop your knees down here. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe. One more right here. Feeling the flow of the breath. Now inhale your left leg up to the sky. Exhale, bend the left knee. Open up through the hip. Wiggle and move here if that serves you. And 
and then square those hips back off as you inhale extend the left leg exhale knee to nose inhale three leg exhale knee to nose inhale three leg exhale step it through runner's lunge so one step a few steps however you need to get that foot up there breathe in sink the hips down lift the heart exhale hips lift fold forward over that front leg do that four more times inhale lunge exhale inhale for three exhale inhale for two exhale inhale for one last one for now anyway <laughs> let's come back into that lunge as you breathe in now step your right foot up to meet the left lift halfway exhale fold forward inhale rise all the way up reach up stretch up and then exhale fold back down inhale half lift exhale downward facing dog right away send your right leg up to the sky take a breath in exhale knee to nose inhale three leg exhale knee to nose full breath in three leg dog step it through exhale completely runners lunge so we've been here before we're going to add on this time inhale drop your hips lift your heart exhale fold four more rounds just like that you've got it inhale and last three last two and one now this time inhale back into your lunge you're gonna set your left heel down and in rise up warrior two as you breathe out hi Kira and then inhale reverse your warrior go ahead and straighten your right leg here so it's like a reverse triangle with your exhale come into side angle and then do that again moving with your breath like a moving meditation inhale as you reach back exhale side angle inhale reach back exhale side angle now keep the bend in your front leg reverse your warrior as you reach back and as you exhale, bring those hands all the way down. Come back into your runner's lunge. What you doing, pretty girl? You wanna do some yoga? <laughs> You're gonna step your left foot up to meet your right. Plant your left foot down, and as you rise up to stand, go ahead and pick that right foot up. Reach the arms up overhead. Figure four, you're gonna place your right ankle on your left thigh. Hands to the heart. I like a hard flex in that right foot here. And then if you want a little more, start to sit down into that imaginary chair behind you. If you want a little more yet, start to fold forward over the legs. And then if you want a little more yet, start to lift your left heel, pop it up off the ground and sit down. So from there, you can keep hands to the ground. Maybe you play with the balance, bringing your hands back to your heart. Try to relax your shoulders down away from your ears. Ooh, embrace all the little wibble wobbles that go along with these balancing poses. It's all part of the process, right? Balance is a moving target. It's never perfect. That's why it's called a practice. Take one more breath in one more breath out and then come all the way back up into that single leg tadasana right knee comes up to the chest arms reach up exhale airplane pose kick the right leg back arms sweep back like wings inhale single leg tadasana exhale airplane pose one more like that inhale 
exhale inhale extended mountain nice job y'all this time as you exhale sit down into chair pose stay low breathe in to lift your heart and as you breathe out find drinking bird inhale lower the heels reach up chair pose exhale drinking bird inhale chair exhale chair pose one more time sit really really low reach up tall and then fold forward over your legs amazing work inhale here halfway lift exhale fold plant your hands step it back to your down dog stay or inhale high plank exhale low plank inhale upward facing exhale downward facing dog left leg goes skyward side two big breath in knee to nose inhale three leg exhale knee to nose inhale three leg this time step it all the way through awesome work inhale to sink down into your hips we'll catch our breath here for a second exhale lift your hips and fold inhale lunge exhale slow it down three more rounds breathe in breathe out last two last one inhale back into your lunge exhale rises you up warrior two inhale reverse triangle reach back as you straighten the left leg exhale side angle pose inhale reverse triangle exhale side angle inhale reverse exhale side angle pose and then keep the deep bend in that front leg reverse your warrior big breath in exhale to cartwheel the hands all the way down back to runner's lunge you go inhale step the right foot up to meet the left halfway lift exhale fold inhale all the way into the right leg left leg comes up arms reach up exhale figure four so options you can stay right here you can hold on to something right if you're struggling with the balance and one side may be different than the other maybe you sit down deeper into it maybe you fold forward maybe you work the little toe stand we have a few breaths here wherever you are I encourage you to keep a flex in the left foot spreading the toes back towards the knee No matter where you are in the balancing pose, whatever variation you're working, find your drishti. One single point of focus that you can look out with your eyes to help the mind remain calm. Also feels counterintuitive sometimes, but deep in the breath. We tend to get into these poses and we forget to breathe. We hold our breath thinking that's going to help, but it's not. Breathe, please. Last one. nice from here start to back out of it coming back into single leg dadasana inhale the left knee up to the chest arms sweep up exhale airplane pose inhale single leg exhale one more time inhale exhale extended mountain pose set the left foot down to meet the right big stretch up exhale fold forward inhale halfway lift exhale plant the palms downward facing dog hold or inhale plank pose exhale chaturanga inhale upward facing 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Now we will all ripple forward, high plank. Knees or no knees here, slowly lower all the way down for five, four, three, two, and curse blocks. Nice job. Bring your arms back by your sides. Palms face down, forehead down. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. On your next inhale, lift it up. Take flight, locust pose. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, lift a little higher. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, lift a little higher yet. Stay for your exhale. Hold for one more breath in. Exhale, how slowly can you lower all the way back down? Amazing work. Take a second to wiggle, shake, shimmy, whatever you need to do. And we're going to flip right over onto our backs to finish out this practice. Setting up for bridge or wheel pose. Which one are you going to choose, Kira? Huh? All right. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. On your next inhale, lift it up. Bridge or wheel. Hold for five, four, three, two, <laughs> one. I'm getting all kinds of puppy smooches over here. Go ahead and lower down. Pull the knees into your chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. Take a few rocks side to side, front to back however feels good for your spine. And then take happy baby pose, grabbing hold of the outer edges of your feet, pulling down as you kick up. Try to press your low back down into the mat, relax your shoulders down. Maybe you rock here side to side. You can be playful with it. So a quick practice, but very effective. We got moving, got breathing, and I definitely feel better already. Let's bring the soles of the feet together. Supta Baddha Konasana, lowering the outer edges of the feet down to the mat, knees out to the sides. Place one hand over your belly, one hand over your heart space. Feel yourself breathe here. Expanding with each inhale, softening with each exhale. I always encourage Shavasana at the end of class. So for that, you can stay right here in this shape or feel free to move into more of a traditional Shavasana pose, corpse pose with the legs straight, arms out by the sides, palms face up, eyes closed. Start to relax your whole body. Let go of all that just happened, all the work you just did and just let yourself be. We are so good at doing all the things, at checking our to-do list off. This is now your opportunity to just be. You are a human being, not just a human doing. So feel free to stay in this moment and savor it for as long as you can, as long as you would like to. And I will meet you on your mat next time. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste.